Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we're looking at the problem that causes wire not closed. This is mainly caused via such tools as the trim tool or accidentally placing geometry and not constraining it properly. I'm going to show you the basic ways of locating the problem and what's causing it. So I hope you're enjoying these videos. Let's have a look at this problem in more detail. So one way of finding problems with geometry is to look at the points. Notice the points in this sketch are red. Now I can't pad this at the moment because we have these intersecting lines here. So if I was going to trim this and trim out these two lines here, you notice something. We've got a white and a red point. I'm just going to hit Control Z and do that again. If I trim this line, it shows it's going to create a point which is highlighted in green. So trim away. Now these two points are white. If I trim away the right one, this becomes red. The white points are unconstrained. If I right click and drag this point, it looks like it's connected. And the reason why is because this constraint here is keeping it in line with this line. So all of this, and you can see if I hover over, it's highlighted in yellow. That is one single line. Look for your yellow lines and your white points because you have a problem here. If I click on this constraint and delete it, hitting delete on the keyboard to get rid of it, now I can drag this down and you notice this line is on top of the other one. Let's delete that line. And we've got the same here. This point, I can move it up and down because the constraint is keeping it in line with this one, but it's hiding the fact if I hover over that line, it's highlighted in yellow. And that's causing a problem. If I close out that and try to take the sketch and pad it, I'd probably get why not close. Here we go, why not close? Let's go back to that sketch and have a look. So that zoom in and take this constraint and delete it. And straight away, when I move this out, you can see that we have this line in here, which is correct, and this line, which is connected to nothing. Let's delete that. Straight away, this point is suspect. So I'm going to move this down and you can see they're not connected. Control Z that. Let's highlight both of those and use the coincident constraint. Those are now connected, they're in red. And if I look around, we've got the red points. Hit close, take the sketch and pad it we can see it pads correctly. So another way to find those problem vertices or the points is to use the sketch validation tool. So I have some points in here. We can see them there. If I click on the sketch, come up to sketch and validate sketch, this is the one we're interested in. Highlight troubles and vertices. If I click that, we can see we've got some problems. Notice these points are highlighted here. It's easier for the underlying feature is hidden. And we can see that these two are highlighted. So we know we've got a problem there. Sometimes this will work. The missing coincident tool, which we can find and fix. We can see, well, it's not finding them. Even if I start adjusting this tolerance here, I often don't use this tool because it's actually hit or miss if it finds them. But this one is very handy to find those. If I double click on the sketch, we can see those are in there. It's just a case deleting the constraints nearby and seeing if we need it or not. Let's take this one and delete that. And if I hover over that, we can see it's yellow. Hover over this side, we can see that there is a break in here. And those are actually just on top of each other, but not properly connected. So let's highlight both of those, click and drag, and create the coincident constraint. Personally, I will take out this one and take these two, and then create the constraint but something might happen well, like this. You can see we've got an error. 
So we have something going on in here somewhere. So let's control Z that and have a look. So if I pull this one this way, we can see we've got some kind of equality or something keeping this point in line with this one. Now, the one that's keeping it in line is this one here. I'll bring this up. Notice how this keeps on this line. So we've got a point on object constraint or a point on line constraint here. And it's actually on this line. So it's in line with this line, though it's separated. And this can cause us problems as well. So we need to be wary of this. Though this is separated, there is no such thing as a floating constraint. It's going to be constrained to something. So unless it's there intentionally, if we delete that, click on it, press delete on the keyboard, then we have our final constraint. And use a Quinston constraint against that, this one here. Just press C on the keyboard. So there's two more ways of finding why not closed and problematic constraints. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. If you like what you see and you want to donate to the channel, then you can do so via Ko-Fi or Coffee at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G zero or via PayPal at paypal.com forward slash PayPal me forward slash Darren B. E. Stone. I also run a Patreon where you can get early access and additional content. And that's at patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Links can be found in the channel header on the about page or in the descriptions of these videos. I thank everybody that's donated so far. It really helps to keep the lights on so I can produce more content and also expand the channel. Thank you for liking, commenting and subscribing to these videos. And I hope to see you again in the next one.